Hey, I want to share an idea that I just heard of recently and it was really powerful to me. So the idea is that you cannot see anything in others that you cannot see in yourself. And I was specifically thinking of this relative to narcissists where they view people as objects and they don't see people's soul or their inherent value and if you've ever interacted with a narcissist then maybe you've kind of noticed that that they don't they don't really see you um it's almost like they're focusing like in front of you or behind you it's the most bizarre thing it's like they cannot focus on like you so you just have this feeling that they're looking like through you or something rather than like actually seeing you and based on that idea that you can't see in others but you can't see in yourself it makes sense because narcissists don't acknowledge their own soul and they don't acknowledge their own value and they don't acknowledge the divine so it makes sense that they literally cannot acknowledge that in you until they acknowledge that in themselves so it's easy to take things personally especially as children when we're like why can't our parent see us as valuable like it's completely heartbreaking um and it is it is heartbreaking but i understand now that it was not personal it was just because they literally could not see my value unless they were willing to see their own value and they weren't willing to take that journey into themselves and the other thing with narcissists is that the focus is always on the external world and proving your worth based on like what you do or a certain personality attributes that you have. Like it's all about how other people perceive you or like what you do and you have to somehow earn your worth. And to me this fits in with the concept of acknowledging your soul because the soul to me is our worth. That's our unique expression of the divine. It's acknowledging that our own divinity is inherent and therefore our worth is inherent and we don't have to do anything to earn being lovable or being worthy, it just is. But if you're cut off from knowing that you're divine, it makes sense that worth would have to be that something that you have to cultivate and that's why um, narcissistic people expect others to do something for them to be a certain way to please them in some way in order to have value because they don't see that you just inherently have value just by being and that's why relationships with narcissists are so incredibly difficult because part of you is just screaming like why don't you see me and you're trying to get this person to see you but they honestly can't this has been a wake-up call for me is like they honestly can't see you until they're willing to see themselves and there's nothing you can do to like make them wake up um it's their own personal choice so it can also it also changes you when you start to acknowledge your own divinity because then you're going to see it and others as well. It's that whole process of the things that you're able to see in yourself, you're able to see in others. So when someone sees that they are worthy and lovable, you automatically assume that about everyone else and you see that everyone else has value for the way that they are. So I hope that was helpful. Thank you for watching.